frequently in cables is just a snapshot in time, you know, based on, in some cases, it may not be based on what a diplomat himself or herself feels. It might be based on what, uh, what they were told by somebody else. Uh, so, you know, but this, this is the nature of diplomacy. This is what we ask uh, our diplomats to do to give their best judgment, their best assessment to inform uh, policy making uh, back here uh, in Washington. You know, that said, we have a, uh, uh, a close, effective relationship between the United States and Turkey. It benefits the United States, it benefits Turkey, it benefits, you know, the region as well. We are NATO allies, we are close friends. Uh, you know, the next meeting of the P5 plus 1 will occur in Istanbul, and we will be very grateful, you know, for Turkey's willingness to host the second meeting of what is a crucial dialogue, you know, to the future of the region uh, with which, uh, you know, Turkey sits and, uh, and uh, uh, with which Turkey has a relationship, uh, you know, with uh, Iran. Um, the Secretary met last week. Uh, with Foreign Minister Davutoglu. Uh, it was a very constructive meeting, uh, and we're going to continue to cooperate on uh, a broad series of issues with which the United States and Turkey share uh, mutual interests. These were, these were classified documents and private assessments by our diplomats you know, to our policymakers, uh, and, and uh, you know, we will keep them private. Um, we understand that this has created uh, you know, turmoil. It's one of the reasons why uh, in the days before uh, you know, the, the beginning of the release of documents, and our estimate now is roughly 1,400 documents have been released you know, publicly, uh, we reached out to, uh, uh, you know, to diplomats around the, around the world uh, to, to warn them about what was uh, coming, and, and uh, you know, to the extent that we had had some time since the first revelation of the leak uh, back in the spring, we've been able to do a damage assessment. We have a sense of what is in this uh, tranche of 250,000 cables, and we've had, you know, frank, uh, uh, honest discussions uh, with, uh, with governments, uh, you know, uh, since uh, these cables have, uh, uh, have been released publicly. We're going to continue uh, to do that. Our, our ambassadors on a case-by-case -case basis have reached out uh, and communicated uh, to uh, local populations uh, to try to put uh, this in context. Uh, you know, in, in brief, um, our relations with other countries are based on mutual interests and mutual respect. And in, in Europe and, and elsewhere, uh, you know, will once again uh, you know, rise uh, you know, to, the, uh, to the fore. So we're prepared to work as hard as we can for as long as it takes to rebuild you know, the trust that we know has been strained by uh, what's happened. So that, that was the basis of an exchange between Mr. Assange's lawyer and the legal advisor of the State Department uh, a few days ago. Uh, we called on him to, re, to, re, to return stolen property uh, to the United States government, and he declined. Um, I, I can't predict where the investigation is going to go. Uh, our Justice Department uh, will investigate this fully. Uh, they're working uh, hand in glove uh, with the Department of Defense and others. Uh, and, uh, and, and we will hold those uh, who have committed crimes against U.S. law fully accountable. Every government has secrets. Every company has <coughs> secrets. So uh, we, we recognize that this is dam you know, damaging. Uh, we're going to do everything in our power to apply lessons that we've learned. We've already taken some steps uh, to, uh, to try to uh, make sure that this cannot happen again. In, in a way, this is a 21st century challenge that you have information that is attached to uh, global networks uh, and you, in the race of technology, um, you know, not only the United States, but others will have to work ever harder to try to protect that information, you know, whether it's from a leaker on the one hand or from a hacker uh, on the other hand. This, is a, this will be a profound challenge for companies and countries 